happen again? That's the key question. And I've listened carefully to the Israeli military spokesmen. They're all talking about this. I hate the word game changer, but they're all talking about this as an extraordinarily different, even transformative uh, moment. And I, I leave you with the thought that if, in fact, that, that occurs, uh, the blood is up and it is really going to be horrific. Well, with me now is Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Uh, Mohammed, thank you for joining us. Just uh, a, a minute or so ago, we just got some information in that was sent, sent in from the um, AFP news agency, uh, quoting Lebanon. Lebanon's Hezbollah says it fired shells and guided missiles at Israel. So another front seems to be opening up. We know that around 24 hours ago, Hamas had called on other organizations for support to, to, to join it. What do you make of this latest development? Uh, indeed, Celia, this is uh, what uh, all analysts were expecting to happen because uh, normally in previous wars between Israel and Hamas, Hezbollah would uh, join uh, the efforts of Hamas from day one. Um, uh, Hezbollah hailed uh, Hamas attack and uh, that was something expected. They started by firing, uh, firing um, uh, uh, rockets uh, into the northern Israel and Israel already uh, retaliated by, by striking uh, Sheba uh, uh, farms in southern Lebanon which uh, apparently is uh, uh, as, as an introduction of, of a wide scale. We all know the capabilities of Hezbollah. They are by far having military, uh, mo uh, more cap military capabilities than Hamas. And if this is uh, going to spread, this war is going to be uh, uh, really uh, unprecedented, as we kept saying uh, in the news. It's the word that keeps coming up again and again, doesn't it? Does this mean really that Israel is going to be quite stretched thin on the ground because it's battling multiple fronts at the moment? It's got quite a few security threats that it's facing at the same time after a surprise attack, which we keep mentioning. It wasn't prepared for this. Indeed, uh, Israel uh, would be really stretched, but uh, the Israeli army is a is, is very strong army and already, uh, already the United States uh, announced that they are supporting them. They, they will be... Uh, providing them with whatever intelligence and arms and uh, equipment that uh, they need. They can handle that, but the security pressures on the citizens of uh, the state of Israel and the political situation as well uh, would be really tense. For example, now Benjamin Netanyahu is under pressure to launch a ground attack on the Strip of Gaza, which will be really a hard military decision to be taken but given that Hamas already uh, invaded uh, raided part of, of the Israeli uh, territories he will be under huge uh, uh, political pressure to launch that ground attack on Gaza. Mm. I, I wonder if uh, you can just briefly reflect on um, Egypt and their role in all of this what role they can possibly play in some kind of future mediation, even though we're in the heart of things now, what could Egypt possibly do? Historically, Egypt is the party in the Middle East who is in conversation with Hamas. So uh, they are trying to understand what are their demands, what they are trying to achieve. Is it a, a point related to freeing some of the, their, uh, their uh, prisoners in the Israeli uh, prisons or uh, uh, something related to the situation of the Al-Aqsa uh, Al Mosque uh, or uh, uh, easing the, the siege on Gaza? They are trying to, uh, to find a way to ease uh, this uh, tension. But as we said, this tension is getting widespread. For example, uh, the Thai uh, government announced that uh, uh, one was killed in the attacks of Hamas and four uh, are, are captive. So there are, there might be foreign uh, countries are involved in this as well. It is a, a widespread conflict, a widespread violence, mm -hmm. an unprecedented situation. And with uh, the, the front of Lebanon coming to, uh, to the equation, uh, that situation is getting worse and worse. Indeed.
broadening conflict. We shouldn't forget that. And, and of course, the, the UN Security Council will be meeting later, so we'll be tracking that. Thank you so much for speaking to Thank us, Mohammed Tafa from BBC Arabic. Thank you. Well, let's